If you haven't explored the Adobe library outside of just downloading the applications, then you're missing out on a ton of great resources. Stick around and I'll show you what I love about it. Hey guys, I'm Patrick Fuller, and you've most likely used that Adobe Creative Cloud app to download and install the Adobe products. But did you know that little app does way more? Yeah. Seriously. In fact, if you're anything like me and you're looking for efficiency and just less hassle, I think you're going to love this app. Let's take a peek. Let's start with this Discover tab here. So basically what this is, is it curates education based on the apps that you have installed. For example, we'll start with Premiere Pro. And I can scroll down here and I can start to get some free education and just kind of start with the basics. And there's nothing better than connecting with the community. So if you keep scrolling down, you're actually gonna see this community section. And if you click on the go to community here, it's gonna open up this great community that's specific to what you clicked on, Premiere Pro in this case. There's a ton of great stuff here. You can ask questions, you can help answer questions, you can sort through stuff, see highlights. It's pretty awesome. And of course, like most platforms nowadays, there is a marketplace where you can get some plugins, some of which are free, some of which are paid most of which you definitely want to just try out. For example, maybe the Dropbox transfer here. Now, yes, you could totally do this outside of the app, but having it built into the app might actually be a benefit to you. And if we're looking at the plugins in the marketplace, there's actually a ton to work with here and there's only going to be more coming. And of course, because it's Adobe, then we definitely want to check out the fonts. So for example, maybe I'm looking for something called Rig Solid here. I can actually come down and I can activate these fonts. Let's take this one and you know what? Let's just take all these, these four. And you'll see that it starts to synchronize it to my library, which is a whole lot easier than trying to find fonts on the internet and then download and install and use this. This is so much easier. Just by activating the fonts, now I have them available in my library. Check this out. So now if I go to active fonts, I can actually see what I just activated along with some of the other ones that I have access to. Nice. But actually, one of my favorite things is the community of libraries. Check this out. If I come over here in the marketplace section on the left hand side and I click libraries, then I can see all of these different libraries that I now have access to. And I, all I have to do is simply follow them to make them available to me in my library. For example, the web gradients. Someone has already put together a ridiculous amount of web gradients that I can use in any of the apps. All I need to do is click follow library. And now if they ever get updated or changed, I've got access to them. And the best part is if I come down to manage libraries, come over to web gradients, I can actually see them downloading. And since it's a cloud app, the best part is that the library is now accessible in all of the Adobe apps you already use like this. Let's pull up Photoshop. I can click on my libraries tab here, come down to web gradients and bam, there they are. All I need to do, let's take this one right here because that's kind of cool. Drop it on there and I'm ready to start working. And if I open up Premiere, I can navigate to the libraries area and bam, there they are, the same one. I can pull this down, drop this into my timeline. Brilliant. Now the Adobe library is far more powerful than just downloading a few fonts and some web gradients. In fact, if you're interested in how I use the library to spend less time duplicating files between projects, photos, videos, and audio assets, then you're definitely gonna wanna check out my next video. If you got something out of this video, hit that likes button. Likes button? If you got something out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Dobia products. Dobia products.